Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at another Red Dragon keyboard. They sent me out a couple to take a look at. Um, I think they didn't mean to send me this one, but I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick review on it. Um, I am going to come and mod this keyboard. I actually, one of the first ones I modded when I really started getting into the hobby was one of these. Now it was RGB and this one's rainbow and this one still has the hot swap uh, the otemu hot swap sockets so i think they meant to because i'm as far as i know there is an updated version of this k551 uh, that does have the new otemu hot swap sockets with the three and five pin compatibility so anyway i like i said one of the first ones that i modded was not only this k551 but also the k552 uh, the uh, full size version of this one and um i monitored them to the point that i actually ported them. now as, i'm hoping that the upgraded version of this one does have the usb-c port uh, but i guess we will see since this one is an older version there's not really much i can say about it i mean we have the, the different effects but again this is rainbow rgb led means that every single one of the keys has an RGB light that has a red, a green, and a blue RGB. And when it goes to do the colors, it actually sends the signals of you know how how bright to make one or the other. Actually, it's not how bright; um, it's how many times it flashes. Like even the brightness when you do, when you bring down the brightness, LEDs can't. I mean, yes, they they'll get dimmer with less electricity. But what they're doing is taking advantage of a trick of the eye and the brain and how long it takes for you know, our brain to process. And it's actually like, say, if you set it to 20% brightness, that means the light's only going to be on for 20% of a second. The other 80% of the second, it's going to be off. And that's what makes your brain think that, hey, its brightness is low. But enough for a science lesson for today. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the Red Dragon Kumara K551-KR. This is the rainbow version, not RGB, but rainbow, which means every row has a set color that cannot be changed. LED version of this keyboard. Now it comes in weighing at 871 grams, and it does use Otemu hot swap sockets. Now it does currently retail for uh, an MSRP of $39.95, though it has been on sale for much, much lower, many times at 50%. It has a chin of 20 and a half millimeters with a back of 26 and a half millimeters, giving you a typing degree default of four degrees. If you raise the included feet, it will raise the back up to 38 millimeters, giving you a typing degree of 10, or giving you a typing angle of 10 degrees. All right, take two. Let's get technical. Today we are taking a look at the Red Dragon Kimara K551. This is a TKL keyboard that is wired, hardwired, and it also comes with rainbow LEDs. So every row has its distinct color. It weighs 871 grams, and this is the older version. I do not know if there's a newer version, but I thought that I had read about it. But this one comes with a Temu hot swap socket, so it will only be compatible with a certain amount of switches. It does MSRP for $39.99, but regularly goes on sale for much cheaper than that. It has a chin height of 20 and a half millimeters with a back height of 26 and a half millimeters, providing you with a four degree typing angle. If you use the back legs, that are included, it will raise the height of the back to 38 millimeters, providing you with a 10 degree typing angle. So yeah, it, it, this keyboard honestly gives me a little bit of uh, nostalgia, since like I said, some of the first ones that I monitored for this one, and even though this one is a rainbow, um, it's gonna be low on the list, but I'm gonna come back to it and I'm gonna see how good I can make this sound. Because I mean, obviously it's not always about RGB, but 
I have sets of individual keys. I wonder, I don't know, I'm thinking of just using the like keys that match the background color that are shi they're shining through. I don't know, whatever. We'll come up with something crazy. Um, and if you guys have any ideas of anything to try on this, because I mean, I mean, that's one thing about this hobby. I love experimenting. And, you know, we can either turn out something really awesome or eh, we lost a board. Losing a board, well, for me, isn't that big of a deal when I have a few extras. So, if you guys have any ideas of any mods that you'd like to see me try on this, I want to comment them below. And if I get a chance, I'll pick one of those and we'll go for it. And heck, if it turns out really good, maybe I'll just send it to the person that gave me the uh, idea in the first place. Huh. I want to start doing some contests. Um, I still got to figure out how I'm going to do everything. But I, I want to say thanks to all the people that, you know, sit and actually watch when you talk about keyboards. I do appreciate your your patronage, your time, and it, it's it's truly heartwarming. And so if I can start, you know, basically, I mean, because, you know, now I've gotten to a point where some keyboard companies do send me keyboards, you know, which I'll let you guys know this was sent to me by Red Dragon. They, I will not deal with companies that ask me to show them my video review prior to publishing it or that asked me to say anything specific, you know, about the keyboard other than features. Like, you know, make sure not to say anything negative or no more than two negative things or whatever. I just skip. I just skip on those. Now, thankfully, I've only come across two companies that have asked that. And I've just said, sorry, not going to do it. But Red Dragon has always been really nice. They, the marketing lady or the marketing, um, marketing agent for Red Dragon reaches out to me every once in a while. I was like, hey, would you like to take a look at some boards? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So I am going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this Red Dragon. But like I said, I do have a few Red Dragon boards. If you guys have any ideas for any crazy mods, shoot them my way. Let's, let's make something happen, huh? So I'll give you a, a stock sound test. And I believe this, these are running... Uh, Right. All right. So I'm going to give you a stock sound test with um, these, the K551 with uh, Red Dragon red switches. And then uh, we'll come back to it at a later date and see how nice or how, how lovely we can make this board sing. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.